hi 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 guys I got another tutorial for you today I've been waiting forever to do this one too um today I'm going to show you how to do your own watercolor ink from markers that have been dried out now at the beginning of the year I start a bag ha ha this big old bag and I collect all the markers and pens and whatever else that I've used and I think I've dried up and I stick them in here okay all right um today we're going to focus on the watercolor ones I'll do the alcohol ones on my next video all right so once you've got all your markers together you know the ones that you think have dead gone past goodbye separate them into water based and alcohol based now alcohol based are your expo markers your sharpies yes i use a lot of sharpies and it's only what april um your fabric markers anything basically with a weird scent that you wouldn't want your baby youngins to use all right so put those aside that's for another video and then separate them into your water-based ones now i'm not going to do all of my water-based markers I don't have time for that but when you start doing this and you have a bunch of markers I recommend getting some bags so you can separate your colors like see here I've already got my blue ones separated I've got purple and some pink and see I won't want to waste my time trying to get water based one session I'm just this little bit so I wait till I get a bunch all right but today we're gonna do blue all right so besides getting your markers you're gonna need some cups now however many colors you want to do is how many cups you're going to need now these are what I use also for my alcohol markers so I keep them but they work just fine for the watercolor ones all right and this one's going to be blue all right see how they stay in the cup so don't throw these away they won't rot they won't go away keep them all right so I'm gonna get that and you will also need a pair of pliers probably bigger than what I'm using but we're gonna go with it all right, so when you got your markers, most of them are gonna be like this, <laughs> if you got kids. Um, hopefully they won't look like this. This one has been chewed off by one of my students. I, I don't know how you eat a marker, but whatever. Okay, so what I've normally seen on videos are people taking, filling a cup with water and stick the marker in there and let it sit. That works, but the problem is you're only getting the tip well, let me get one that has a tip. You're only getting the tip of this and some of the ink barrel. So I'm going to show you how to get the most out of the entire marker. Alright, so if you don't have a nib, don't worry about that. It's not a big deal. Um, get your pliers and you're going to pull the end of this cap off. Now this is not very easy. Um, be safe. <laughs> don't poke your eye out. I've already got this one pre-started so I won't hurt anybody. And you're just going to pry it off. I don't know if I can do that. You really do need bigger pliers for this. Um, they're actually supposed to twist off, but I have yet to do that. Okay. Alright, see? You got two pieces. Alright, see? There is a beautiful piece of foam in here that we can use. Alright, so you're going to get... You will need tiny pliers for this. Get your tiny pliers out. Like you're getting a hook out of a catfish. And pull this out all right now once you've got that let me get the nib off of this one I'll show you what this one you just pull the nib off carefully otherwise you'll break it and you'll end up like the other piece and it'll come out like this okay see there's the inside of that all right and that you drop in there now with this piece the problem with soaking in water if you did that it's only going to get about this far. So the middle is not even going to be touched. So with some scissors, ha, 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 you're going to actually cut this this way. I'm sure there's some type of vegetable you're supposed to cut like this. I don't know what it is. My mom does. Um, a Zacto knife would actually work better. But I am not good with those. That and apple cores, I just, um, I'm dangerous. 
Yeah, a Zacno knife will work better. Definitely use a Zacno knife. Because this, this stuff is hard plastic. But you'll see why I want to cut this open. Come on. Ah, there we go. Alright. See all this foam in here? This still has color in it. Now this one's pretty dried out. I'll admit, this one's pretty dried out. But, look at all those fibers. Alright. Now, I would definitely cut this at least in half. You can cut it more if you want to. So I even make sure we get all of that. Alright, put that in there. Let's see, I didn't get this one. I get this one. Remember, I'm not doing anything. Um, and you can recycle these. I think Crayola does them. But last time I checked, they only do it with the ones with the black tips on it. These black tips, like this marker right here. See how it's a black tip? Um, I hope they change that because I really don't see what the difference is. But anyway, all right, let's get this one out. Do the same thing. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, see that one's still got some pigment in it. Alright, I'm gonna try a Zagno knife. I've had this one since design school and it is dull. I don't know what. Yeah, that worked a lot better. Okay. See, this one has a lot more juice in it. Okay. All right. Cut this in half. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. Here's my other bag. I'm gonna just do these for right now. Now, if you have markers, this is a fabric marker, but it's not a dye-based fabric marker. It's a pigment ink. You can use these. But the problem is, is that when you start to use these, the pigment will separate from the dye in it. And it will leave this kind of chunky, mushy type thing in your water. And it's not something you want. It's just, it just, every time you don't want it. Um... Highlighters you can also use if you have bottoms like this. These do come out. Again, be very careful. They're not friendly to come out, but they do come out. Alright. And the same thing. This one actually just pops out. And see, look at all that. That's a big barrel. You can just pop that out. Pop this out. Alright. Remember, I'm just doing blue. I don't know the color. Let me put this up before I cut my head off over here. Alright. Once you've got this, you will need some water. You can use any water you want. If you're going to keep it for a while, I would recommend distilled water. It doesn't have all those chemicals and stuff in it. And just pour enough to cover the top of your marker. So you can see the water already soaking in and getting that pigment. Isn't it beautiful? You don't want too much because you do want a concentrated color. Like, don't fill the cup up. Don't fill the cup up. It's floating. Alright. Now, once you've done this with all your colors, you will probably want to let this sit maybe overnight. At least overnight. Depends on how much you got to let all that color suck out. Um, and this is where... Typically, you're going to need some gloves. I don't use gloves. I mean, my hands stay messy. It really doesn't matter to me. But once you do that and your color's gone, I'm going to show you what to do. See all this? Watch it squeeze out. See? You're going to want to go through each of this and just squeeze that color out. Okay. Now, this should be white by the when you finish, or mostly white. And get all that color out. See how it's starting to turn white right there? That's what you want. Now when you do that, I recommend to take all of these squeezables out first. That way you're not squeezing back into this. 
And don't forget, don't leave these felt nibs in over too much because it'll start to dissolve and that really gets icky. Okay, and once you've done that, wipe my hands off somewhere. Once you've done that, you've got all your all your lovely nibs and things out. You're going to have a wonderful little collection of watercolor. Okay? Now, throw those away. And you're going to need a jar or something. I store them in mason jars with the uh, plastic lids. And see, this is what I've done so far. Oh. See? Now, because we're making our own, the pigment is not going to be very bright. I just need this scrap piece of paper. A brush. Can I find a brush? Of course, this might be brighter than I think, huh? But look. Oh, it is. And see, that is just from markers that we thought were dead. They're not. Now, I will admit that the stuff that I use in this, it's got a little bit of alcohol in it. But I'm not a watercolor person, so it really doesn't bother me. I just wanted it to use for making backgrounds and other stuff. Um, now, one thing I am going to do, because I'm not a watercolorer, once I get enough in this jar, I want to be able to put them into spray bottles. I don't have enough yet, so that's why I haven't done it. But, I'm getting there. And another thing to mention. Um, I've done all the basic colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I did try brown. Problem with brown is, is that it oxidizes. And turns into this dark green. I mean, it's not bad. But, it's definitely not brown <laughs> so that's just something to keep in mind when you're doing brown I mean it's still a pretty color but not brown black you can also do but it's going to end up dark blue just because the way it mixes with the water doesn't matter what you add to it even if you add black ink with it it's still going to be dark blue so you got three shades of blue out of this but that's okay alright now, how I did these labels, I just printed off some circle labels, painted the lids for what they are, and this is what I got. And I keep them in a nice little box. Pretty? Okay. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. If you guys have any questions or want to try this on your own or have any other ideas, let me know. I'd love to see them. Um... As far as these pieces of your markers, there is a guy that you can send them to if you don't think you're able to recycle them. There's a couple couple programs that can recycle them, but again, I don't know how much they're recycling. I mean, if it's completely empty, you think they would recycle it, but who knows. Um, but there is a guy, I'll link his address below, it's called the Pen Guy. He takes all types of pens, pencils, markers, whatever. And he makes art with them. So, if you want to help a fellow artist out, you'd be glad to send those to him. Alright. Alright, my next video is going to show you what to do with the alcohol markers. Because I have a lot of those. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye!